A C B A. Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Bug Nice coming at you with a quickie update. Just want to touch base with you guys for a hot moment. Little meantime and between time as I try to crank out all of these reviews. Opening up with Popeye here. Just a reminder to myself that I am waiting for the Popeye and Bluto 2 pack from Big Bad Toy Store. I did not order this one directly from Mezco, so I don't have it in hand just yet. I do know a couple of people that have it. My boy Diego got it. I know that uh, Trevor aka at 16 shooter has it in hand he shot a really cool picture here and yes yeah, so when i do have it i will review this for sure and speaking of reviews please be sure to check out my soap studio the dark knight trilogy the dark knight rises movie catwoman and batman review those reviews are live on the channel now i also just put up a review for the marvel legends hasbro pulse exclusive logan movie logan and professor x or Logan and Charles Xavier 2 pack. I'm in the process of editing quite a few things right now. The uh, Joe Fix It Build a Figure Wave Kang review. I have the Marvel Legends Phantom X Psylocke and Nimrod 3 pack review, about 69% done. Just need to record the bits with Nimrod. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the entire Joe Fix It Build a Figure Wave in some form or fashion. And I also just got the SH Figure Warts Avengers Loki figure, which I'll be taking a look at as well. Just a friendly reminder that our month-long event October is still running for one more week. You have until Sunday, October 31st, 2020 to submit your very last entry of the month. Everybody has been doing an amazing job. So many wonderful photos have come out of this. I'm really excited for the finale, for the conclusion, and to crown some winners. Please be sure to go back and check out the Articulated Comic Book Art Podcast, episode 112. 113 and 114 are live on the channel and youtube stopped playing with me and trying to demonetize my videos i had to go back and fix that but we all set now we have uh, recorded three weeks in a row and we will have uh, another episode this coming weekend shout out to my man punk of mike once again who sent me a nice little care package a couple weeks ago i put up a video on that there'll be a link to his channel in the description below but he also hit me up this morning and showed me something on big bad toy store that i actually went ahead and pre-ordered this Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure phone booth. I've been wanting a phone booth prop for quite some time, so this looks like it'll scale well with 112 scale figures. A link for that will be in the description below. Shout out to the folks at GTP Toys, the Space Walls dudes. They actually put up pre-orders yesterday or the day before yesterday for their 112 scale blockade runner replica, and this looks pretty cool. This is the area in which we saw Darth Vader completely dismantle those rebel troopers at the end of rogue one one of the best star wars scenes in movie history and yeah i'm really thinking about pulling the trigger on this it's uh it's a little expensive but considering the price that i would normally pay for a full diorama it's basically like half the price almost so i'm gonna look into this i think we'll talk about this a little more in depth in the next uh episode of the podcast and whilst we're on the subject of star wars i actually wanted to put up this video to discuss star wars in particular yesterday star wars actually Actually had like a Mando Monday as they called it and revealed a few new things so they have a new two-pack with the Beskar armor Mandalorian and the child and this is good for me because I actually didn't get the singular Beskar armor Mandalorian so this will be a way for me to get the Mandalorian and another the child figure and they actually have an unmasked Mando um, which just doesn't look that great a lot of people been roasting this the past 24 hours or so we'll talk about this more on the podcast they also revealed a new speeder bike and scout trooper with another the child figure in the little bag from that uh, i guess that was the final episode of the first season where they kind of kidnapped the child for a brief moment so i guess you're going to need to get two of these biker scouts and then you'll have extra the child figures this is something that went up for pre-order i think it was 49.99 on amazon i believe it's an amazon exclusive and this is something that i will probably pick up as well razor crest that's 
that's really what I came to talk about today. The fact that I'm still on the fence, sitting back and trying to figure out if I'm going to actually order the vintage series Razor Crest. Uh, they dropped images yesterday of the vehicle like fully painted, which looks amazing. And I'm really like two seconds away from pulling the trigger on this thing. I think I'm going to wait till next week. If you're watching this on the day that it drops, we are one week out from the election. Uh, you know, if you're in America, this is obviously a big thing. I guess if you anywhere in the world right now, this is a big thing. And I'm going to wait to see what happens. We had some some commotion here in New York City yesterday, and it's looking like there might be violence no matter what happens on either side. So I'm going to fall back and I'm going to just wait and, you know, assess my funds fully and make sure I'm good to go uh, before I actually pull the trigger on this. But I'm very, very interested in having this as a display piece for my, my trophy room of sorts when I actually get all of my stuff together. A lot of the stuff that I've been doing over the past few years is really just getting things together for when I have my own full room for all of my pieces, all of my figures, and you know, when I have things in a permanent display. So that's why I've been uh, picking up some of the DC collectible stuff like the uh, Batmobile and the Batwing, and I just ordered the Bat Cycle, and just a lot of pieces that I want to have on permanent display and some permanent setups when I really get settled in to a space that is dedicated for my full collection, basically. But again, this looks really, really good. And hopefully by next Wednesday or Thursday, before the cutoff, I'll be able to go ahead and uh, pre-order this thing, being that it's just the one-time payment of the 349 and I don't have to army build this thing, then, you know, I'm right there. So we'll see what happens. Again, look for us to discuss all of this information in the next episode of the Articulated Comic Book Art Podcast. And thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell down there. And until next time, peace. Crispy.